So today we're going to be reacting to Ethan Klein. Okay. He's once again come out with a galaxy brain take. Now, this one's a little bit different. I think that what Ethan Klein says in this video that we're going to react to is stupid. And I think what he wrote on Twitter is stupid. But it's about someone else. So there's a guy that does a channel called Channel 5 News, I think, with Andrew Callahan. Okay. And he's portrayed as this, like, social justice warrior, like, very left-leaning. Like, he... I don't watch his channel too much. One of his videos was shown to me. Um, I guess it's supposed to be like funny, taking the mick out of people. I don't, I don't really like his content very much. It's not for me, but he has basically been accused of uh, sexual misconduct. I'm not too sure. Some girls have come forward saying that at the very least there's been coercion where he was going to their houses or going to parties or being in cars with them. And there's been a couple of TikToks put up about it of these girls saying that, oh, you know, this guy has done X, Y, and Z to me. And that he continuously would ask me to sleep with him and ask me it over and over again to the point where they were worn down. And I guess because of his status, because he's quite popular on YouTube, um, they probably felt pressured into it. I think some companies that worked with him have cut ties. My problem really is with Ethan Klein's take on it. Now, as far as I'm aware, Ethan Klein is friends with this guy. Right. And Ethan posted a video that we're going to react to right now. And he also tweeted some things that we're going to talk about. Because I find it a bit weird that you would have this take. But I'm not going to say what it is. You tell me what you think about his video. Here I am, guys, doing my first ever cell phone video. This has never been done before. In fact, I'm out here on vacation with my fam. The kids are asleep. Everyone's asleep. And uh, listen, I had something on my mind. So I said, hey, I got a cell phone. I think I could just upload it directly. And I, you know, I got something that I really want to get your guys' opinion on. I tweeted out something today that was in effect saying something like famous men should not have random s uh, with with anyone especially fans and when alcohol is involved. And there was some people that agreed, obviously, but there was a lot of people I saw this comment, well, what's the point of becoming famous then? And that kind of begs the question like, well, if the reason you're becoming... F First of all, I went through the tweets. I did not see the, what is the, uh, what is the point in becoming famous? I saw people saying, that's a ridiculous thing to say. Because first of all, not even if you're not famous, you shouldn't be assaulting people, firstly. Secondly, if you are famous, mm. you can still have random hookups. It's not on... It, how are you going to know if somebody's going to falsely accuse you of something? If you're having consensual sex with somebody, your status does not matter. Yeah, but I do agree with the part of saying you shouldn't do it with fans. You shouldn't do it with fans. Yeah. You should not co you should not coerce people into having sex with you. Mm. And I would agree that sleeping with people that are like fanatical about you is probably not a good idea. Mm -hmm. But as a famous person, you can go to a club and have random yeah. hookups. Yeah. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. But there is a lot more repercussions that could come of it because of your status and your fame. There'll be a lot more people out to get you. I get I get that point. That's not a that doesn't mean that the guy that's having sex with the person is the person in the wrong. It's mm -hmm. the people that are out to get them that mm -hmm. are falsely accusing somebody of the R word or of misconduct. And I understand taking personal responsibility and knowing that there's a bunch of people out there that will try to come for your neck on the basis that you're famous. Yeah. But there's a bunch of like we, we live in an age now where there are 18 year olds making millions on YouTube. Right. You turn a bunch of 18 year olds at university. You can't you can't have hookups now. You can't go out there and meet yeah. people now because of your status. Rather than putting a video out there it's telling these people, stop preying on people that have a lot of money. Yeah, I get it. But there will be a lot. I'm not agreeing with this, by the way, but just speaking on the topic in general, there will be a lot of people that know that they could probably get a lot of money out of you. Like yeah. not long ago, did you see the whole thing with Chris Brown where people were trying to say he he did something like he... Or the Rihanna thing? No, it was to do with the R word or something. Okay. And he got proven innocent because he didn't do anything but these people were really trying because they were obviously trying to make money out of it right and it was what was he sleeping with fans I don't, I don't i think it was more just random hookups you know they were trying to say it was non-consensual and right. he hadn't even had in like intercourse with this person 
and oh. he managed to prove everything. How did he prove it? You know, just things like days and times where you was at yeah, places, yeah. it doesn't add up with what she was saying and things like that. I could be wrong, but it was so long ago I heard this. That's sort of what I roughly remember, yeah, yeah. but I, I could be explaining it wrong. So I'm not talking in absolutes here, but you know. Yeah, I just, I don't like the idea that the blame would be completely on the famous person, whether it's a yeah. man or a woman. Now, I'm assuming in this sort of situation, they're going to be talking mostly to famous men that are having random hookups with girls. But if you're a girl watching this, and you have a hookup with a celebrity or somebody that has a lot of subscribers on YouTube or has a lot of followers on Instagram, don't just throw misconduct allegations at them because the people that are actually abused and the people that go through this, their voices get drowned out and it makes it harder for us to believe them. I can't sit here and believe anyone off the bat if they're making accusations. I will definitely listen to them and I'll take it on board and you do an investigation to see if there's smoke where there's fire. But don't lie about someone just because of their status. And you can't tell people that are like, <laughs> like these rich Twitch streamers that are like 20 years old. You can't go out and meet girls now because the girls might chat shit about you. Well, what is that about? By the same token, I would say to them, don't use your status to sway people into getting yeah. to bed with you. Like if people, someone wants to get in bed with you, they'll get in bed with you. You don't yeah. have to coerce them. The risk is just always going to be there though, whether you're famous or not. So that's just basically saying nobody should be sleeping with anyone because it's too risky. Yeah. Like what, do you remember what that feminist was saying before on Piers Morgan? Well, what was she saying? Just basically men should be in relationships with women and not have sex because oh the one where she said you should fear us or something yeah, like that. oh yeah. yeah yeah no don't be a donut like that don't be a, i That's mean basically what they're saying though isn't it like, yeah, yeah it's nonsense famous is for the sole reason of having lots of random with women that's gonna be a problem and listen i i'm saying this man i've had I've had to, I've had fr I have many friends who are being basically um, doing horrible things, right? And getting called out. And it's happening way too much. This is happening way too much. And I think to myself, how is it that there's so many men, famous men, who are still doing this shit despite knowing that it's a that this is a problem that it's going to come out right and that you can't around you can't make mistakes like that and yet people are still out there being scumbags and it just makes me think like if so if ethan's point here is that famous men are using their power to sway women and coerce them and get them into bed or or when they're getting them into like isolated positions, they're like asking over and over again. Of course, that is a problem. You should not be doing that. Ethan's video here is blurred because he's telling men, as I'll read out in his tweet, to not have random hookups if you're famous. Those are not the same thing. You can have random hookups with girls consensually and not coerce them into having sex with you because of your status. Or you can be a scumbag and use your power and coerce women into having sex with you. If your sole reason to get famous is to have sex with women, you probably have other issues. I'm, I'm just going to keep it 100 with you. I think if, if that's your sole reason, none of us are stupid though. We know the more famous that you get, the more women, that, more attention you're going to get. But that can't be your sole reason. That's a black hole. It's going to go absolutely nowhere. But it's a, it is a byproduct of being more popular. That's just the way it goes. So I agree with him that if it's your sole reason, but I don't think that's what people were saying. If you're a famous guy, I hate to tell you, but I think the one night stands, I think it's got to be out. And the reason I say that is to protect you from doing something horrible to somebody and doing something you will regret. And it seems that there's a high enough percentage of women who are regretting these hookups. What? Do you know what? For a minute, He's such a donut. I just swear. before he said those words, for a minute, I was thinking to myself, "Do you know what? I can actually agree with what he's saying here because I get it. As a famous person, there's a lot more risk that comes with it, and it is to protect you. And there's logic behind what he's saying in that sense. But when he's saying that, now I'm just like, wait, what? Yeah, he's just the. He's, he's this guy is just anything to virtue signal. Ethan Klein will be there. He started off with me being like, I can kind of see his point. Yeah. And he's like, to protect you from yourself, as if all famous guys are out here trying to do nasty things to women. 
He's so just exposing people. That's that's all he does. That's all he does. There's not a, there's not a salient point that comes from this man. So just when you think he's making something of sense, yeah. he goes and says something dumb like that. Yes, there are famous men that push their weight around. We all know that. But if you're just telling, if you're because he's on YouTube, so I'm I'm assuming because it happened to you, Andrew Callahan, who is also a YouTuber, he's talking to YouTubers. Let's say that a hundred thousand subscribers is really where women start to be like, oh, you're that guy from this. Mm -hmm. That doesn't mean that the guy with a hundred thousand subscribers can now no longer have random hookups. What that means is that he, yeah, he does need to be more careful with who he's bringing back to his place. He does need to be careful with some of the things he might say. That's not to say he's saying anything crazy, but people take things out of context all the time. They can frame you for all sorts of things these days. But that doesn't also mean that he's just going to assault you, protect you from yourself. Like he's this guy is just virtue signal one on one. Like if you need to find out how to virtue signal, just watch Ethan Klein. Who feel coerced, who feel like they can be manipulated into doing something they don't want to do. And I just keep seeing the same story over and over and over again. And it's like, what are we going to do about this? Because <clears throat> you would think that something would be changing by now, but it's like the same headline over and over and over again. I think that famous men need to stop having random hookups. It's just a recipe for disaster and pain and hurt. And it's gonna fuck your and it's it's gonna fuck your life up too, right? It's just not worth it. And so this comment comes up like, what's the point of becoming famous then? Well then therein lies the problem. If So what about all the men that are not famous? Yeah. That where where's the line here? What constitutes as famous as well? Are you, are you talking about famous worldwide? Are you talking famous where we're just, you're famous in your town? You, like, what are we talking about here? What if you're a very popular guy within your very small community? What if you're the most popular guy in, in, uh, in university? Because uh, you would be famous within that university. What, you can't have random hookups now? All that needs to happen, even though it's easier said than done, is that there needs to be consent and that's it. As long as it's two consent and adults, there's no problem. Hmm. What I want to know is... Because as, as a famous person, you can get anybody who's even just around you to sign an NDA. Okay. Can so you? let's, yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's a bit uh, awkward though if you're out clubbing and there's a girl and she's on you and you're like, can you just quickly sign this? But if you're going to bring her back, you could very well do that to protect yourself. No, you could. But let's say she signed an NDA and he does do something harmful mm. or does do the R word. Is she then not allowed to report it because she signed the NDA? I doubt it. I think that would make it null and void. I think the NDA is on the basis that she can't share sensitive information yeah. about the person because he's bringing them back to the residence. Yeah, Maybe they've got things there that they don't want the public to know about. But I think if you yeah. assault someone, I think that is null and void. I assume it would be anyway. Mm. But even then, you're not... Yeah, like if I was a famous person and I went to a club and I'm with I'm, I'm messing about with a girl, I can't imagine being like, hold on, just before you continue dirty whining on me, sign this NDA. No, but like let's say you're bringing them back to yours, you can get all of that done. Just before we're about to hook up. Yeah. Just before you drop your you, panties. You, because it's 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 one of on them the things where a lot of these girls know what they're getting themselves into. So let's say, I know Justin Bieber's married right now, but let's say before he was married. There would have been a lot of girls he would have slept with and each of them would have known known the deal and he probably would have been like, okay, well, we both know what's going to happen. You need to sign this NDA. I guess, I mean, yeah, you, you could do that. I guess at that point, if the girl is there back at the place and she's ready to sleep with this famous person, she's not going to say no anyway. So you exactly. could do it. They know, most of these women know the crack. It's just, I just don't like the way he's framing this. I, I, I think it's, it's disingenuous and it doesn't really... Um, it doesn't really point to any ways to solve the issue. What you've suggested might might be a solution, albeit inconvenient. It might be a solution. Mm -hmm. He's not. He's just damning men. He's just saying you're famous. No more random hookups. But the line of what famous is continuously shifts depending on where you mm -hmm. are in the world. If you're becoming famous to sleep with a bunch of women, well, that used to be cool, and that used to be a reason to become famous. But now, 
you can go ahead and do that, but it's going to come out and you're going to hurt people. And you're going to end up sleeping with people who were influenced by who either a fan of yours, who were too drunk, who were influenced by your... You see the problem with this? Yeah. He's saying... If you are famous and you're having sex with random women, you are going to hurt someone. He's saying that no matter what, men are going to do something wrong. This is this is the problem, though. It's like like he's explaining something. Okay, he's I don't gonna know how buy to it. word this. Like his point of, I don't think you should do this. I can get behind it, but then when he explains his reasoning why, yeah, I can't get behind it anymore. I can get behind the notion that there are powerful men out there that use their power mm. to coerce women into having sex with them, and we should one hundred percent be talking to those guys and saying to them, "You can't do this to people." We know that power influences, but you don't turn around and say, "You are going to do this if you become famous." That's nonsense. It's okay to people if it comes out that you're having random hookups no one cares people yeah. only care when you do something nasty to yeah, someone exactly power and aura and just general fame and so i feel like with fame and power there there needs to be some giving up of responsibility or there needs to be some more acceptance of responsibility like with the power with the money with the fame you have extra responsibility as a man to take extra care with your sexual partners because listen the truth is that women have been used and abused for a long time and it feels super weird that men are now having to be held accountable for what they're doing. And y'all, I guess, aren't ready for that. <clears throat> but I'm just saying, you're not going to get away. You, you don't get away with it anymore. So like this advice is as much for the men. You know, we're talk He's talking about two different things. Mm. Whether you're famous or not, the woman is your responsibility if you're having sex with her. To be responsible with her should be something that all men practice. It's not just something that famous men practice. And it's not something that, that they're the ones that are only not practicing it. And yeah, while women have had problems with men for a very long time, it only comes out if they are having problems. Not all men are treating women like that. Like you're painting a narrative here where you're saying that famous men or men in general, I don't even know what he's getting at now, are just mistreating women in the bedroom. Like across the board, doing the R word to them, assaulting them whenever they want yeah this narrative that you're painting is disingenuous well it seems like maybe he must know a lot of people that are doing that which is where he's forming this opinion because if he doesn't know a lot of people that are doing that then why is he even going to be having this sort of opinion yeah well i think this andrew callahan guy that they're accusing that was one of his friends and if if that's the company you're keeping and you keep seeing it then maybe you're keeping bad company i don't have any friends that have done that I'm not saying it doesn't happen. No, I'm not even saying it couldn't have happened behind closed doors, but I haven't heard this personally. So where he's painting the narrative that all men are doing these nasty things, that's just not true. What I will say is that not everyone comes forward with when they've uh, had the R word done to them, right? So the statistics can't be completely accurate, but it is below 2% in America, right? It's below 2%. That's the, t that's the t t statistic that I saw. I don't know if that is a uh, factual uh, in terms of like what has actually been reported versus what hasn't. I would say the overwhelming majority of men are not doing that to women. They're just not. And I don't know what the, what the percentage of famous men that are doing it. I've never seen any stats on that. But to paint this narrative seems like it, it doesn't seem like a good idea. No, it's for the men to, to protect themselves and to protect the women. I'm saying you got to meet someone get to know them a little bit, make sure that you're both sober and that you've got enthusiastic consent. Because it's just not worth it. I don't think a lot of these guys doing this necessarily want to be hurting people, right? I think they get caught up in the moment. I think they probably have a lot of regrets about how they acted. I, I don't know, though. I, I, maybe I'm assuming too much. I don't know, right? I don't know how these people feel or what they think about. But I do know that there's a lot 
of victims of women who are in the wake of these famous men being traumatized. What are you talking about? What is this guy going on about? The guy that is that has been accused of, the Andrew Callahan guy, according to the people that accused him, he asked them for multiple times and eventually wore them down. And I've read two accounts of this happening, but apparently there were more. He knew what he was doing. Mm. He knew that he was wearing the girl down and she was eventually going to have sex with him. That one of the girls, I think she was saying that he kept touching her inappropriately and grabbing her and putting her hands down his trousers. How do you not know what you're doing? What, what's happening here is Ethan's doing two things. He doesn't want to throw his friend under the bus, but he also has to put a statement out because he's one of these social justice warriors. Your friend knew what he was doing if the allegations are to be believed. If you grab a girl's hand and you put it down your trousers, you know full well what you're doing. It's not that you have regrets or whatever. You, the only regret you have is that you were caught. That's it. Ethan is having, he's having two different discussions because he doesn't want to throw his friend under the bus here. If that's the case, you shouldn't have just made the video. Should have just stay quiet. But because Ethan constantly has to be the social justice warrior, just like this Andrew Callahan guy was, it's always these kinds of guys. The ones that are always, it's always the feminists. It's always the ones that are out here with the woke shit, the inclusive shit. It's always them that you hear, oh, they've done something messed up. I mean, this video is like, he's just, he's going in circles making the yeah, same point. He, that's what I'm saying. He just keeps repeating himself as well. I don't think he even knows where he's going with it. Being abused, having lots of regret, being coerced. So what do we do about it? I mean, if you're a famous man coming up, you can't do it. I mean, it's just too, it's just it's too risky. I think the dynamic of you being famous and powerful and then being a fan and knowing who you are, it's too powerful of a combination. So like you can't exploit that. It's just it sucks, right? It sucks because you can't go out there and be a rascal and everyone. You know what I mean? But, but what is too risky, Ethan? Are you saying that the more famous you become, the more likely you are to do nasty things to women? Or are you saying it's too risky because there's more women out there that are willing to make allegations about you? What are you talking about here? The more subscribers we get is not going to make me become more evil. It's not going to make me want to take advantage of women more. If I was yeah. doing that stuff... I would be doing it now and I'd be doing it later. Being more famous isn't going to make me want to do that. A lot of the times these famous people, they are handed too much power too young when they don't understand how to respect a woman's body. That doesn't just mean that it's a risk because I am just going to start to get ideas of coercing people. That's not to say that men won't do that, but you're talking absolutes here. And I don't know if you're saying it's risky because women are more likely to accuse you of things to make money off you or to ruin your reputation or if you're saying men are more likely to lean into evil ideas or unjust ideas towards women. The points that he's making, yeah, they are, I mean, I'm not surprised. It's, it's Ethan Klein. Yeah. I'm really not surprised. You're either it or you're not it. It's not something that just changes if you become famous. Well, apparently, according to him, it is. But, uh, which is like apparently the dream of men. That's why they become famous. I didn't know that. I mean, I know that there's like dudes out there, but it's, I find that odd that like you become famous just for that. that. It's just like, okay, bro, that that's really it. That's all there is to life. <clears throat> but yeah, you're not getting away with it. Take him out to dinner. Get to know him a little bit. And then when you got guys who travel around, right? Who, uh, oh, but I don't think guys are just becoming famous to bang girls. I think the, the prospect of knowing that you have a much wider pool of people because they're attracted to something that you're good at or that people know you is exciting to a young man because mm -hmm. men like sleeping with multiple women. But I don't, I've never heard of someone saying that's my sole reason. I don't think I've never heard of that as well. That's where I'm thinking is that actually a thing? Yeah, like my boys that have all become musicians, the ones that have become very successful, they never said to me, oh, I'm, I'm putting all this work in the studio for the sole reason to go and bang half of South America. No one's thinking that. It's a byproduct of being famous, as it is with women. That's why you see someone as dusty as Madonna. She's still with young guys because she can, because she has untold amounts of power in that industry. She can get young guys to come and sleep with her, even though she looks like she's about to be mummified. It works both ways. Mm. I don't understand where Ethan, like, where Ethan got this idea from. I've never heard of a rich, famous guy saying 
that this is the sole reason. It's different from being excited at the fact that you are more well known. And so you don't have to put as much effort in. People kind of just throw themselves at you. Mm -hmm. But again, that's a byproduct. Just like everything else is a byproduct of being famous. The reason that people do these things is because they love their craft. And then people see the love they have for their craft and they become famous and people gravitate that's towards the point, them. Yeah. You're just talking out your ass, bruv. Which is not, not a new concept for you. I don't know, man. Jerk off. I don't know. Uh, you know, just beat off, bro. Get some p hotel porn. I know it's expensive, but you're rich. Hell, even get a prostitute. Well, I think that's fine, right? I mean, at least you know what's going on there if you hire a prostitute. I don't know what the solution is, but what's happening right now is not working. It is not working. So I don't know if this was a crazy... There it is. Ethan Klein, just jerk off into a tissue and watch even though you have unlimited resources to women. Not give any good advice like respect women's bodies, don't yeah. coerce anyone, don't manipulate anyone, just have genuine conversation and if it goes well, take them back to your place, have a good time, go about your business. No, Ethan Klein's advice is jerk off into a tissue, order some This, I, I still, to this day, do not understand why people watch this guy's podcast no nothing of intelligence ever comes out of his mouth just when you think he's about to make some salient point it's like watching a train come off its tracks every time mm. it really baffles me i it's, it's <laughs> i don't get it so you're gonna pay even though you can get it for free so what is it ethan i don't understand so jerk off into a tissue watch some or order a prostitute but wait if you're ordering a prostitute you're still going to be having sex. So then what happens with the point that he's making of you're going to hurt someone? Yeah, because... You're not going to hurt them because they're a prostitute? Prostitution's illegal in a lot of places. So going by what you're saying, if they're a famous rich guy, couldn't they tell the prostitute, look, no one's going to believe you because I'm a famous rich guy. You better do as I say, X, Y, and Z. Right? If it's illegal, he can just get her whole life messed up and expose her or send her details out to people that he knows will do his bidding, right? It's all just not adding up and making it's not. sense. Because he's talking out of his ass. He did not think about this before he opened the video up. There's ways to go about teaching people how to behave when they wield a lot of power. Look, we've seen people like Chris D'Elia, for example. I don't know if you know who it is, but he's a comedian that was uh, in like Joe Rogan's circle. Very, very big. Have you watched You on Netflix? Mm -hmm. You know in You season two, do you remember the comedian? That I never watched season two, I only watched season one. Oh, Sorry. damn it. Okay, it got well, boring. Okay, in, in <laughs> season two, there's, a, there's oh, these guys will know who Chris D'Elia is anyway, but yeah. he's a comedian that was um, going around the country, and he's a, I think he's getting towards 40, but he doesn't look it. He was in very good shape. I don't find his stand-up very funny. Personally, I think his, his comedy on his podcast is very funny. Okay. Sometimes it doesn't translate. Anyway, he was a very, he's a very rich and powerful comedian. He's still doing it. A documentary was done on him where he was basically creating a cult and he was going around and he was waiting until these girls turned 18 years old. Um, so he wasn't sleeping with them when they were underage, but he was grooming them. He was getting wow. them ready. And then he was basically trying to build a cult. And he was saying this on camera, but he was joking about it. So it was like he was hiding in plain sight. Those guys need to be spoken to. Those guys are using their power to coerce young women into basically doing what they want. And I don't know to the extent... Um, that it went with Chris D'Elia. I've heard a lot of bad stories and even he came forward and admitted that he was doing these things and that he was seeking help. It's come come to light now that he isn't actually seeking help and that he's still doing it. I don't know what the progression of that is, but you would have a conversation with someone like that and you would you, you would have these sort of conversations with him, not necessarily with what Ethan's saying because what he's saying doesn't really make sense, but there's clearly a problem there. But that doesn't mean that Dave Chappelle and Chris Rock and Joe Rogan and whoever else is touring the country and doing this because they're rich and famous, some people are just doing their job because they want to. There's nothing wrong with it. Some of these guys yeah. are just going back to their hotel and they're not banging anyone. And most of the time, when these celebrities do want to sleep with someone, they do end up calling escorts because mm -hmm. they pay for discretion. Mm -hmm. But again, that's consensual. But according yeah. to Ethan, because of their power dynamic, they can throw that out the window since escorting and prostitution is illegal in most places. It, what he's saying just doesn't make sense. Is this a crazy thought or a sane thought? What do you guys think? Because I'm getting sick of seeing this happening. I'm getting sick of seeing people that I did respect 
have their lives and careers ruined because they couldn't keep from being pervs. And I'm sick of seeing young women who are being traumatized because they're being uh, coerced into doing things they don't want to do. What the f is going on, dude? Somebody's got to figure this shit out. Ugh. But it's not it's changed. It's different now. You can't go out there and just f everybody. I think men need to realize like what a powerful thing can be like you have to respect the power and the emotional connection that uh, happens there and how violated somebody can feel who like offers you up their body in that sense only to be kind of like discarded or used or to regret it, 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 it there needs to be some understanding of that and I'm not being a prude right like I'm cool with casual I'm not like a puritanical. I don't think people need to get married or anything. I mean, fuck on the first day, I don't care. I'm just saying there's a specific issue with famous men. <clears throat> because there's a magnetic pole that you need to be accountable for and that you need to treat with a special care. And it's a way, in a way, maybe this isn't a good analogy, but like, if you're a trained martial art. He's kind of contradicted himself a couple of times. So he said that he doesn't care if you have casual sex. He doesn't care if you do it on the first date. But at the same time, don't do it because you're famous. Mm. And because you're famous, they're just going to regret it. Even if you have a nice time with them, you go on a nice date. It's very pleasant. You go back, you're watching the film, you have sex. It's your fault because... Five years down the line, even though it was consensual, you're, you, they regret it. So now you're a monster. There's a difference here. If he forces you back to his apartment, if he convinces you and you feel like you have nowhere to turn and you go into his apartment as a young, impressionable woman, I can be on your side on that. Coercion is a real thing. It's not the same when you're with a woman and let's, let's say that she's not. Let's say that she's the same age. Let's say she's 30. You go back to hers or you go back to yours. You do it. Everything's cool. And then later down the line, she regrets it. And she's like, oh, you know, I just, I was so enamored with him because he was, he's this guy and whatever. That's not my problem. That's just not, you can't just do that to people. That's not fair. And that also dilutes the voices of women that have actually been coerced yeah. and had nasty things happen to them. Mm -hmm. You can't have it both ways. If you're a trained martial artist, world champion, you know what I mean? Like three-time black belt, you know how to kill a man with one punch. If you get into a bar fight, you cannot unleash your full fury because if you go like and go for like a neck throat punch and they end up dying, guess what? You're going to jail. Whereas if it was someone who was untrained, you could, you know, go crazy. You're not going to kill the guy, right? You can, you can fight with all your passion. You don't have to worry about holding back. But if you have the potential to kill someone, you know how to do it. And you can do it easily. You don't do it, right? And that's common knowledge of people who are highly trained martial artists. They know that. And in a way, again, I don't know if this is a stupid... This is, that is the stupidest it's, analogy yeah, I've ever heard of in my life. Absolutely. We don't I don't need even to, know where he thought he was going with that. Yeah, like, I, there's only a, a couple, there's a minute left of the video. We'll watch it. I don't think we need to. But that was yeah. a dumb, dumb, dumb analogy. You do not advise somebody to fight with their full passion just because they're not a mixed martial artist world champion. So you can still do some serious, serious harm. You take the necessary precautions in any fight. Obviously, it's easier said than done when tempers are flaring. The analogy is dumb. It's just dumb. Like You don't use fighting. You can't use a fighting analogy in a bar to describe what's going on with power dynamics. In it doesn't make any sense. You can be a very powerful guy. Let's say you're Jeff Bezos and you meet this nice girl on a night out. You're probably aware that she, um, she's like, oh my God, it's Jeff Bezos or whatever. But if you're cordial, if you're having a nice time, if you're having jokes and then you have, you can't be done for sexual misconduct. That's not, that's not fair on the guy. Mm. You can't just do that to people. Now, if Jeff, if you met Jeff Bezos and you're like, oh, he's nice, but I didn't really want to get to know him and he forces you into his car and then does something to you, that's 
misconduct. Yeah, and most of the time, people of a celebrity status are not really going to force somebody because there's so many other options that they could take of people who are just free willing. I don't know the rate of which celebrities are forcing themselves on people. I don't pay too much attention to what celebrities are doing in their day to day, and I don't have the stats for that. But I'll acknowledge that it does happen. Of course, it does. I mean, coercion no, at the very yeah. least does. Yeah, I get that, but. Also, a lot of the time when you hear about it, it's not always necessarily going to be true as well. Oh, yeah. No, again, it's innocent till proven guilty. Yeah. I don't just believe people. I don't dismiss them either. I'll listen to both sides and we'll see how the investigation plays out. That's what we were saying with the Andrew Tate video we did. We mm. don't know what's going on with Andrew Tate. As much as we might want to believe he hasn't done these things, we just don't know. So with these things, where someone makes an allegation against you, yeah, it's a bit crazy that a girl would come forward when nothing has happened. But we've heard of that happening before. We know people have been sent to prison for 50 plus years only to be found out that they did nothing wrong. And then what? They award them some money. Great. But 50 years of their life is gone. And you just want me to condemn someone just because you said so. No, mm. absolutely not. But that's not me saying that I won't listen to you. That's not me saying that we don't take on board what you've said and try to look into what has gone on. I know that proving like the R word is very difficult. So if it did happen to you, it's very difficult to prove it. But that doesn't mean that I just throw people under the bus for it. You can't mm. do that to somebody. Like if someone accused me of doing something, everyone's just going to believe and I'm just supposed to stand here and be like, I didn't do it. But it doesn't matter what I say. Yeah. It's not fair. You can't do people like that. It's a very sensitive subject. It needs to be handled with care because people do lie. People lie about all sorts of things. Yeah. Again, I don't know if this is a stupid analogy, but it's kind of the same thing, right? If you're famous and powerful and you go out, you have this edge. You have this magneticism, you know, people are, are going to be more uh, pulled to you, especially fans of yours. And so in the same way, you've got to be careful with what you've got there. Does that make sense? <sighs> what do y'all think? Is it crazy? I don't know. I, I, you know what I mean? No, what I do know is this is one shot, one take. I'm going to upload it to my channel. And if y'all got a problem with it, please don't unsubscribe because I need, I cherish and need every single one of you. I'm sorry. If I said something wrong, I'm sorry. And I love you. Please don't hate me. I didn't do anything wrong. Okay. I washed my hands. I absolved myself. Thank you. See you guys in Vatican City. Don't worry, bro. I ain't subscribed anyway. <laughs> His analogy was stupid. Most of the points he made in this video were easily to, put, to pick apart. I don't, and like he said, it was a one-shot video in the middle of the night. He probably wasn't thinking straight. But again, Ethan Klein doesn't think straight most times. So I'm going to have to hold his feet to the fire and just say that he was talking out of his ass. I think that, yes, whilst you do have, uh, you need to be accountable for the level of power you wield when you're an extremely famous person, that doesn't mean that you can't meet someone and have a good time with them. That doesn't mean that you're automatically going to do something nasty to a woman just because you have a lot of power. And power is relative as well. You can have a lot of power within a very small community. You can be a shark in a pond, basically, where you'd be a fish in an ocean elsewhere. I think that's the analogy. And, and you do need to be responsible with your power. But that doesn't mean that you can't have random hookups. Is there anything you want to add to it? No. <laughs> Another I think we covered everything. Galaxy brain take by Ethan Klein. Well done, bruv. <laughs> you impress me every single time.